welcome to this video. Um, I've been thinking about doing this for quite a while now. Um, but I just never seemed to have got the time or got organized. And it takes a lot of setup to do something like this. So this is probably my most complicated of my um, videos to date. And it will be in two separate videos because I think it's going to take... Um, quite a while to go through. So what's this about? This is about my obsession with finding the perfect green. Now you can mix greens all by yourself if you have a uh, blue and a yellow. Now it depends on the blue and depends on the yellow. You're going to get different greens. And if you're doing uh, landscapes like I do, um, there are going to be times that you'll want a convenience color just because, you know, when you're mixing your own colors, you run out midway through, especially if you're doing a wash or anything like that. It can be frustrating. So that's why I've been on this hunt for a while now. And there's all sorts of components too for mixing your, like yellow and blue are just the obvious. You can darken a uh, green with a little bit of red, which is complimentary. Um, you can also put in like, say a neutral tint or Payne's gray or even black. Uh, a lot of watercolors will, will not use black at all in their paintings, but I don't mind having it. Um, one of my things I do not like <laughs> is that a lot of sets come with the green that they come with is usually a viridian. So it's a cool green, um, or a thalo green. And I don't like bluey greens. I only have three on this list right here. And you'll probably see that they're a little bit different from your normal Viridian green, which is kind of bog standard for um, different brands to put into their sets. Now again, you can use that Viridian green or Thalo green and change it. You can add yellow and all the other colors that I talked about. That's, that is totally fine. But again, I'm going to concentrate on the greens I like from various brands from least expensive to most expensive but all all are sorry my cat's in the way all um are professional standard uh, watercolors so let me get started Starting with my favorite greens overall, it has to be the Roman small greens. Um, in particular, the Aquarius and the Hooker green and the Chromium green, especially these, these two. I use them, they're my go-to all the time for doing um, foliage or grass, grass is foliage. Um, it's just my go-to for, for, um, green, especially if I need a lot of them because Roman small has, uh, full pans. So let's see if I can get one out of here. Not very easily. So they come in a good full size pan. I might have to pause for her to go back to sleep. Um, so let's get started with Aquarius Green, which is my favorite. And Roman Small is the cheapest of the brands that I'm going to show you. They're made in uh, Poland and they're just beautiful. They re-wet really well, lots of pigment, 
and that's just a stunning kind of green. All right, a little bit of an accident there. Um, nothing to worry about. Just a glass of water went all over the place. So back to hooker screen is my next favorite. This is just a really nice natural um, springy kind of green. And it works nice if you layer, if you do a wash of this and then go over it in little areas with the Aquarius screen. It's really, really pretty. Just add a little bit. So that, those two are my absolute favorites. And coming up closely to, and by the way, these are all what I consider natural greens, um, as opposed to some of the really bright, like Viridian greens. This is the Roman small chromium green. I just realized that I wasn't getting very good lighting in here. It's a really odd um, weather day, so it may come and go. So following that, these are just, um, these aren't rated one to 10 in my opinion. These are just natural greens that I like. And the next one is um, da Vinci brand, which is made in California. And this is an artist developed green, Denise's green. Quite similar to the Roman small hooker green. And then another um, green by them, developed with an artist. And I'm sorry, I'm going to put it in the description. I can't remember the artist's name except Joyce. And the mother green isn't because it's her mother's favorite color. It's the color, the basis that she works from. She works from this green and adds to it. So with yellows and what have you. Then we have May Marie. Uh, these are from Italy. Just get that in there. And the first one is the sap green. which I think it's very like, you'll see down here, the earth greens or terre verte or the chromium greens. And then cobalt green deep. And I have on my website, um, all the color swatches from various brands that I have. So you would see the greens, other greens there. So continuing with what I consider the natural greens, there is Sennelier, which is a French brand. And I'm gonna start with their chromium oxide green. which is very similar to the May Marie sap. Sap greens tend to be more on the yellow side, but this is a very muted, um, unsaturated green. The Sennelier sap. Let's 
too much water. It's a really, really beautiful green. And their forest green is natural. It's verging on my other category, which is going to be dark greens. It's also on the um, a lot cooler side, but I still like it, especially for mixing. And then the green olive, or olive green, I don't know why I put green olive. I have a category for olive greens. I feel that this is more in the natural, almost sap green category though. Okay, and now the Schmincke brand, which is a German brand. Let's get that in shot. I don't have much room on my, my desk, I'm afraid. Uh, so we're going to start with the Cobalt Dark. And... That is this one. And then the other one, um, this is Shemika Forest. This is one of their granulating, um, in their granulating range. And again, it's almost verging on dark category. And then Rembrandt uh, Chromium, which is a Dutch brand. Let me just find that. And then there's sap green. It's a really bright springy green. It almost verges on my category of bright greens. And then uh, Windsor New Newton also have a sap green. And this is theirs. It's a little bit more muted than the Rembrandt one. I'll put the um, the pigments which I realized I left out, probably because I wasn't sure I'd have enough space. Um, I'll put the pigments, oh, sorry. I realized I was out of shot, even though I have a computer there and I'm standing over, I just got wrapped up in, in doing this. I will put the pigments um, when I scan these, uh, this whole thing will be on my website where you can download a PDF. 
and then Daniel Smith, which is an American brand. Their sap green is quite beautiful. These are the more expensive range of um, watercolors, especially for anyone in Europe. So going down to bright, or what I class as bright, I don't tend to um, buy a lot of bright greens, but I do love the Schmincke Me Green. Because even in its pen, it looks so vivid. And that just shouts spring, doesn't it? And then the Sinelli Thalo Light. It's my other favorite bright green. So this category are the uh, cool greens and you'll note not one of them are Viridian, True Viridian or Thalo. The first one I have is Cascade Green from Daniel Smith. quite a cool green. And then my next favorite would be the uh, Windsor Newton. And that is the aqua green, which is very, very blue. That's more of a turquoise. That does make um, for ni some nice mixes. And then also from Windsor Newton is their uh, Windsor Green Blue. And that's about as close to Viridian that I want to deal with. And it's also another nice mixing green. Moving on up are the olive greens. And we're going to start with the Roman, Roman Small Sap Green Light. And then the Sennelier Olive Green, obviously with olive in the name, it should look olive -ly. Very close to the Schmincke Green Olive, but just somewhat brighter and somewhat more yellow. And then the Schmincke Olive Green Yellowish. You 
a more drab version and that's not a criticism i really like it it's more muted olive and rembrandt's olive is right there. Okay, now going into what brands, well, with the traditional um, color of earth greens or the French name for it, Terre Verte, um, most brands seem to have this color. And a lot of them are very, very, hard to get going. They're very transparent. Um, you can add layers, obviously, but some of them are a little bit more difficult to get going and to get that punch of color. Um, but some of my favorites are the Schmincke Green Earth. You'll see that I'm rolling my brush in the paint and that's as dark as you're going to get unless you layer. And the Windsor Newton tear that is it's a little darker. Um, a little more, I guess you'd call it verging on the bluish rather than this has more of a yellow. And again, I'm I'm rolling my brush in it to pick up more paint, but that again is about as dark as you get. Now, A Gallo are also at the top uh, range in, in um, price wise. They're a brand that are handmade in Italy and they're beautiful. And really, I should have put, oh, why don't I do that now? I should have put their fake green in the brights category. because it is pretty beautiful. And also a little bit on the olive side. So think of that there and also here. But for their earth colors, they have, I think it's three three of them and I have the green earth cool which is here again I'm gonna roll the brush to pick up as much as I can that's about it And then there's the Zecchi, another Italian brand, but um, I'm not sure if, I think they make it, but it's based on a Zecchi color or using their, their pigments. That's that one. Again, I'm rolling my brush. There's a lot of paint 
on the brush. But that is about as dark as it gets. All right. Well, I'm gonna end this video here. In part two, I'm going to uh, look at dark greens and also some unique greens by different brands like Schmincke and Daniel Smith have some uh, unique granulating, um, I guess mostly granulating. Uh, some of Daniel Smith's are their um, mineral uh, colors and for Schmincke they're in their category of super granulating colors and there's a lot of greens that I like in those two brands. And we will also talk about dark colors. All right, stay tuned for that.